Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Doodle Robot and today I'm going to give you a tour of this book, Serena Ia. I don't know if I said that right, but I'll try not to say it again, by Christina McAllister. Uh, so this is going to be a, a slow flip through and I generally talk through my flip through. So if that bothers you, you can turn off the volume and speed it up or whatever. I won't know the difference. But I do like I do like this artist, Christina McAllister. I have one of her other books, Lost Illumina. And this book, this one I'm about to show you, seems like a departure. It seems like her work in other books is a little bit more like this style, although still different. All of her books are a little bit different, which is cool. Some artists just do the same thing over and over. So each one is kind of uniquely different. But yeah, I want to buy, I don't know, one or one every month or two until I have all the ones that I want of hers. So this is the one I bought next, and it's quite a departure, like I said, from the Lost Lumina book that I have. So we shall begin. Hopefully, I have to stand on my tiptoes to make sure you're in focus there. All right. Kind of, sort of centered. All right, so it's a, this is an Amazon book. Mine is printed in Vegas, I think. Yep, Las Vegas. That's where all mine come from. And it's not the shine, like this is the shiny, this is the shiny glossy cover. This is the, must be the matte finish cover, I guess. All right, so here we have the title page. I like to flip slowly a few words from the artist. This is copyright 2019. And then we just get right into it. I like how she's done the background here. I feel like that might uh, be an interesting effect when I apply some alcohol markers to it. So we have a mermaid. Ooh. It's still Mermaid. I could maybe do that one for Mermaid. It's the last month of school. Now we're into the last week and a half. It's crazy. I haven't colored in a, several days. And I don't know when I'll get back to it. But, yeah, I do like these interesting backgrounds. I don't know if I can hold it up for you so you could see it better. In art, we call that chiaroscuro. I like how she's done that for us. And this whole book is like that. This whole book has backgrounds like that. So it should be interesting. I like her take on the fantasy animals there. It's, it's you know, of course it's a popular theme, but she has a kind of a fresh take on it in some of these. So it's nice. There are no duplicates in this book. I generally don't buy books with duplicates in them. I think I have only three. Two of them were bought by accident. Like, I didn't know that they had duplicates in them. Very pretty. I love the markings on the, almost like a cheetah or something on the skin there. I think she frames her pictures really well. There was one back here where it was framed by a tree. Yeah. I like how she's providing, you know, she sets the parameters of the space without, you know, it's very sophisticated. She hasn't drawn a border on there, and yet she sets the parameters of the space. I like this one. This one should be called The Librarian. She has a really good YouTube site too where she's uh, she'll do flip throughs of her book and she'll show them colored. 
quite inspiring the way she does it. And then she has other videos where she shows her making some of these things on the computer somehow. It's beyond my tech ability. I don't know what she's doing. I'm kind of an old school artist. If we're going to make art, we're going to get a pencil and draw it. So this must be one of the tree people, but it's interesting how she's drawn it. It's a very fresh take on it. And this is my probably my favorite because it's got tribbles. If you know what a tribble is, put it in the comments. Some of these look like Disney characters to me. They just have that look that her inspiration photo she was working from was maybe a Disney character or something. I really like this one with the dark and the eyeball tree. Everyone should have an eyeball tree. I think this bird has two heads. I'm not sure. I don't know how to describe the work in this book, but it seems like it has almost like a, it's so flowy. It has, it's almost like, it's almost like a musical effect to it. I don't know. I don't know. I don't have the words to describe it. This is cute. Could do this one on Valentine's Day. If you're a person who does things like that, <laughs> everybody needs a big fuzzy creature to read to them. This looks like it could be underwater, but she's got wings, so I don't, I don't, these creatures are very interesting. I like how here, she's got the chiaroscuro in the background, but she's also suggested with the, the shades of gray, some foliage in the background as well. That could be super cool with uh, alcohol markers. And that is it. Some of her other coloring books that I would like to get at some point, someday. All right. This has been ugh, this book. <laughs> I don't know how to say that. I'm so sorry. By Christina McAllister. All right. I thank you for your time. I appreciate you joining me today. Have a wonderful day. Live long and prosper. Bye-bye.